Welcome back to the good show, ladies and gentlemen. We're now into our Dota 2 segment, and Hello. yeah, and to bring us the in-depth Dota 2 analysis, we've got Bruno in the corner. Oh. Hey guys, Statsman. How are you? Good. How you doing? I'm doing great, as always. Yeah, I was playing with the kittens. I just uploaded on Twitter a picture of the. How big are they now? Okay. Yeah, you how should check them out. All right, yeah, bring that up. That's Bruno? how you get Twitter followers, by the way. You don't just <laughs> say, hey, follow me. You'd be like, hey, guys, check out my Twitter. There's Killings. Yes. I can see him in real life, but it's, you know, it's better on the internet. Yeah, of oh, course. Look, look at that. that. Okay, so hold on. I heard that you guys actually had names for them. Like, you've already named them. That's Dovakin. Yeah. Did no you? one likes the names, but that's <laughs> Dovakin. You you named this guy Dovakin. That's Why, what did he do to you, James? Dragon, Why do you hate him? Firstborn. Dragonborn. 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 But yeah, it's kind of like Dovakin. No, that it's, doesn't have a flow. No. And then they want <laughs> to, to call the, the white ones John and Snow. Yeah, look at the other John picture. Snow. Okay. Oh, ghost. Oh, ghost. Yeah, ghost would be cool, man. No. no. Yeah, it's, it's really hard in this If house. it's a boy, it's John. And if the other one's a boy or girl, it's Snow. Then yeah, I think yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Sing wanted to call one of them Nova. 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 That one, uh, that Second one. Second picture. That one. Second picture. Yeah, but yeah, just scroll, scroll down. Okay. There's one there. No, that's the one I think. No, Isn't that's it? the one I just showed. Mm. Where's the second picture? I've got it here. Dova Kitten. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Hold on. I got... Oh, yeah, which one is it? Oh, okay. I got that. Yeah. Yeah, that's from like second day or third day. They were just born. They were more playful now and bigger. Yeah, have they opened their eyes yet? No. Uh, what the the Tavi one is going to open their eyes in two days or so because it's kind of like they react to light now. Uh huh. So you sh shine a light to almost like sh shutting away from it, so he can see. It's awesome. Really nice. Not another major. Yeah. Zoe wants a kitten. Everybody wants a kitten. We've only got three. Cupid want a kitten. Everybody wants kittens. I want kittens. Put what happened to us with our? We, we're like holding on to these, aren't we? Yeah. Like, I don't know. We're gonna have our own little kitten pack. She wants house. a friend for bacon. I reckon Doverkin, but she wants to call it salad. <laughs> what? How? Because you have bacon. I think that's salad. actually worse than <laughs> oh, Doverkin. <Jesus. laughs> <laughs> At least Doverkin is kind of like kind of badass, <laughs> even if it's hard to pronounce. It's salad. Salad. All right, all right. No, no, no. Well, that was, that was our weekly kitten update. Be sure to stay tuned for next week where we'll post more pictures of Dovakin and what? John Ghost Snow? Salad. I don't know. And They'll change Snow. names by then. All right. Someone's it's asking me and, someone asking is it me and Zoe together. Ha, she wishes. <laughs> all right, so, so to kick things off here in Dota 2, we got Na'Vi. They've released <laughs> the DreamHack Winter documentary. All right, what are you doing? Are you winking uh -huh. at the camera? Yeah. As I, I, Bruno, tell us more about it. Yeah, um, pretty much what they did. Uh, actually, lots of things happened with Navi this year, uh, this week. Um, you talked about what happened in CSGO. Uh, they did this documentary, and we we're going to talk something else about them. It's a half an hour, year, uh, half an hour long video mm -hmm. of pretty much the Navi team, um, at least the ones that speak fluent English, which is Dandy, Papi, and Hubos. Um, Toby talking a bit, uh, J.O. from EG, and some co couple other guys that were in DreamHack. Newman, I know that Bruno's sexy, but you are definitely gravitating towards him. <laughs> <laughs> You've never been like this with any other of our hosts. <laughs> Hopefully someone was quick with the print screen now. Yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, I mean, they, they made a half an hour video. It's pretty much, the, it's two parts, or actually three. Uh, first of all, it's Tovi talking about DreamHack, how good DreamHack is. Um, then it goes to Navi, then you have the impressions from people like from the team mm -hmm. and people from outside the team. Of course, Tovi is drooling over Navi all the time because you know how he likes them and it's really cool. Um, there's well, some other guys and then Navi themselves talking about how they train. There's something, uh, I mean, you have to watch the whole video. It's half an hour long, it's kind of long, but uh, I think the most important point is Papi like talking about for two minutes about how esports are like sports and that you actually have to train and you can't expect to just show up and be good uh, or just drop for six months, go back and just be in top form. It's kind of like, he says it's like tennis. So you, you can be a good tennis player, but if you want to be in top, you have to train hard, hard, hard. And, um, and then the other part, which is intermixed with the other two, is pretty much um, videos of their um, Navi's place in Vinca, um Summer was no, dream of winter. 
Right. So yeah. So that yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, I actually had the chance to talk to Dendi a couple of days ago. Uh, just by chance, he said, "Hi, how are you?" It's like. <laughs> Um, so like, we're talking hi. about like, yeah, no, he's, he's like that, he's really friendly and um, it's really funny because he's, he's seeing, yeah, I don't know, I love talking with him. Um, and he was telling me that, yeah, it's pre pretty much the same thing. They feel the same thing that they felt before TA2, that they have to, um, they're not at their peak right now. They have to improve. They're happy with the performance of the new members of the team, but they're trying to click together. So they're prepare preparing to see China. They left mm -hmm. their open for DreamHack, who knows? It's like, uh, because I was pretty mad. DreamHack yeah. summer. What? DreamHack summer. You mean? No, winter. What? Well, I mean, this is a conversation. This is completely off the record conversation between me and Dendi. So nothing's <laughs> official here. <laughs> Dendi, I love you. But uh, I was official. like, I was very pissed off at him because, you know, the funny thing about Dendi is after TA2, he adds me on Skype and we start talking. And he would randomly call me and Skype video call me and start making faces like he makes in the international just... <laughs> And, and you know, all the time, it was really funny. And it was like half an hour conversations with Dendi making faces. One of them during DreamHack um, winter. So I, I talked to him right now. And he's like, dude, you're running away from me because I was in Argentina and you were in DreamHack. Now I come to Europe, I can see you at DreamHack. We can have some beers together and you just run away to China. And he's like, well, it's not sure that we will not compete on DreamHack. So there might be a possibility that we might. Oh, we might see them. Yeah, we'll so... We'll see. I mean, maybe he was just making me not feel sad or something, but... He's lying to you, Bruno. He couldn't tell you the truth. Yeah, I don't know. But can you handle the truth? That's the, that's the question. I don't know. Anyways. Yeah, uh, anyways. Yeah, that's it. About, uh, check the documentary. Really cool. And now we go to... The second Navi topic in the Dota 2 section is that... Uh, well, their CEO has been very prolific lately. He's actually went and gone ahead and uh, written a blog yeah. comparing two scenes, the CSGO scene and the uh, Dota 2 scene, yeah. as far as prize money is concerned. I, I'm kind of torn about Alex because I completely agree with uh, James about the tweets, about the, the whole esports association. When he's, way, not, when he's not mental, well, I mean, he, he writes was, some pretty decent stuff. Yeah, exactly. I mean, this is actually really, really good. And it's something that we've been talking about, like how all these online tournaments are actually bad for the scene because we have so many online content and not actually really quality or offline other than of course DreamHack and a couple other cups like yeah you have Star Ladder, you have EMS but they're like online offline kind of mm -hmm. things and he says that as long as teams will keep playing in these two thousand dollars a thousand dollars weekend cups even if it's just for two days um, I mean the, the scene will not grow the teams have to stand and say well we don't really care about playing for two thousand dollars, or at least the top teams. See Newman. Yeah, what yeah. do you think about that? I don't mind playing in these two thousand dollar tournaments. I just think that teams are playing too many of them. Maybe I think that if you look at StarCraft in the beginning, sort of StarCraft Two, that is, I think players played in basically two or three cups a day, <laughs> and that scene grew really quickly. I think now in the beginning of Dota Two, I think th th there's no harm, but I think. It, well, but well, you agree that this, this is a transitional yeah, stage. Yeah, it's a transitional stage. Yeah, so exactly. it's not something ideal from here to one to Yeah, I, I don't want to switch it to a lot of offline tournaments either, though, because, I mean, online tournaments expensive. are... Expensive. Yeah, yeah I mean, offline tournaments are really expensive. And it's, uh, uh, well, yeah, I, I mean, in terms of the Counter-Strike, Counter-Strike has more money, mm -hmm. apparently, and it has land. Uh, I don't know if that's yeah, just the well, case that a lot of the infrastructure of some people's companies have people who came into the company doing Counter-Strike 1.6 and then they're still there so they can do Counter-Strike Go. Mm -hmm. I mean, the reason we don't do Counter-Strike Go here is because we, you know, I, like I've commentated Counter-Strike 1.6 a bit, but I, I was kind of, my hand was forced. <laughs> it was like, please do this. Joe needs someone to sit next with. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, but it's like, yeah, Dota 2 has been massively cock blocked by League of Legends. Like, Dota 2 would be at IEM in my opinion and it would be at like MLG, if it wasn't for League of Legends, because it's it's the biggest perhaps yeah esport game in terms of real esport. You know, like okay, League of Legends is an esport, but for me, it's kind of like it's the casual place for people to play. It's like you know the kids playground. Um, yeah, I don't agree. Always popular, but you know, nice. <laughs> Calling like, LOL not an esport is I don't know. Oh no, no, it is an esport, but yeah. it's just like you don't like it personally. No, it's just game. not as good as a game in terms of the depth that it In brings. your opinion, it's not as good. Well, I mean, what, what do you think I base my opinion on? If I like the game or the mechanics and how the game plays out and how it allows the people to shine? The amount of money pays you a 
per month. Wow. <laughs> but it's an amazing me. You think that will pay me? I wish. Um, no. There's another discussion, though. But, uh, I mean, look yeah, at But, but, but the, the reason that Dota 2 hasn't got bigger quicker is because there's League of Legends yeah, taking but, I mean, the big events. Dota 2 getting bigger quicker, it's gone, it's gone big really quickly as well. I yeah, mean, but yeah, I'm talking about land, so I'm talking about a yeah. much more mature type of organization taking the, responsibility for what... Uh, the, how they, they grow the scene outside the international. I think I the mean, main Dreamhack, reason is that there aren't many. There weren't many Dota Dota One lands or Dota All Star lands. Basically. Yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah but so that was that, that was my point the with reason. the Counter Strike. You yeah. know, Counter Strike had the infrastructure yeah. before. But I mean, if you look at his list here, where where he basically compares the CS Go price money with Dota price money, if you add the Dota Two price money online. Which is basically non-existent in CS:GO. I think it would be closer to. No, of course, but I mean, uh, this is not uh, how much money each game makes because, of course, Dota 2 yeah. has more price pool. But they, I mean, he cherry picks these offline statistics to say, if you were a great team and you just wanted to focus on the big offline content, you wouldn't have to worry so much about offline. And if you like, it, no, sorry, the, the other way around. So you only want to no. play offline and you don't worry like. You don't have to play on D2L well and the defense and the Premier League and all that stuff. You can just pick the one you like the most, still play some online yeah. content. We're, go we're gonna get there though. I mean, definitely, we're gonna get there. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just yeah. a tra transitional period as well. That's it, you guys keep saying it, it's a transitional period. It's yeah. just, we're, we're still going through the growing pains with Dota 2. I mean, it's only, how long is, has it been out now? Two years? Well, no, no, less it's than. It's not even out yet, mate. No, well, oh, okay, better, <laughs> pardon me, better. Uh, I, mean, it's hard. I mean, it's hard a year for and players. And a half because and a half. it was out just after the International 1. Right. Even after, like, during it's the International 1, no one had the beta keys except for players and a couple right. like, friends. It's hard for players to actually share pick tournaments as well because I mean they love the game, it's still developing, they want to play as much as possible, and well, there's people inviting them to tournaments where they can win a thousand, the, two thousand dollars. It's, it's, I mean, it's the financial model for online tournaments around Dota Two make more sense than any other game out there right now. You can't do League of Legends online because of like the restrictions, as far as I know. With like they, for a long time, they didn't even have like a um, a proper observer, observer UI okay. and. The license that you're probably going to have to get now with Riot, and there's no point doing it because Riot are doing regular content. Um, and then StarCraft 2. There are. I mean, you can do online tournaments, though. We did a, we did a Scan UK tournament for. UK yeah, but teams. what was your viewership, though? What was your. I think we averaged like 2, 3K. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's, I mean, it's not, it's not massive, but it, I mean, I think the big point is making it. Of course, it's not it's, massive. It's, 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 it's not consistent. It's, it's not for, 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 Well, how much what, prize money was there? What are we on right now? I don't know. Four, four well, but it, I mean, uh, I mean it's a tournament. You get like how yeah. many people will get? Like thirty. I'm not well, saying it's a huge tournament. It was really like a niche tournament. Stage match. It's a really niche tournament. But I think the big point he's making in this this blog is that uh, ah <laughs> yeah <laughs> no, no, no no I mean no no if teams no, get maybe. more picky and cherry pick tournaments, it's got, tournaments are going to be required to actually offer teams something to play in their tournaments. So I think we're going to see more like revenue sharing for, for streams, for, I mean stream, stream revenue and in-game revenue basically. And all yeah, for like, maybe. Like but you yeah. said, smash the test. That, that, that takes me to a point that we want to talk about later. But like um, I, I'm saying that Dota 2 makes the most sense financially for any business to go into for online content. And it's so good because yes, all the teams are turning up. Every time Na'Vi yeah. turns up, Team Liquid or you know, some fan favorites your viewership numbers are really good. If you're one guy sat behind a webcam, um, you can still generate a, a two days wage just from stream revenue alone. Yeah, and that's so, the point. That but so it's, team... this, it's the success of Dota 2 that has kept the online so strong, but also the numbers are so good that they're still finding a lot of prize money online for Dota 2. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, you have to, and like Star Ladder doesn't, for me, really count as like a big offline finals because Star Ladder prize money was like 15,000 or something. Yeah. yeah. It's like, pff, I mean, what's D2L doing? It's pretty like, much the same. I think 10 I think or eight, 50, isn't 8? No, 8 to the winner, but it's oh, okay. like... Yeah, I think it's like think somewhere it, between 10 yeah. and 20. So, you know, it's I like... I can check right now. Just well, isn't um, it in the dark right here, though? Uh, so the, the evolution of this is when people get serious in terms of actually saying, we've got 50,000 for an offline. And it's most terrible. likely, it's a very, it's a big blessing to the Dota community that StarCraft is now being yeah, taken, had its responsibility yeah. as esports taken for, from, for Blizzard uh, doing it. 
Um, D12 is 10K, uh, Stellar is 15K. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so that, like, and you know, you got 10K against 15,000 and you don't have to fly to Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, does Stellar pay for flight accommodations or anything? Well, apparently they were meant to give you something towards that. And uh, I remember Wagger qualified once. And it's like $1,500, but no teams got it. And uh, everyone thinks Vlad just kept it and got hookers, um, which makes sense. The media makers weren't actually lying in their statement. Oh, when they that got time, flamed, I remember. When they got but but I, I, know that, I know that Wagger Mama <laughs> has qualified once or Sing, and no one saw that money. Um, yeah, that's when Wago was still on pulse. Anyway, I think it's going to get better. I think teams are going to start playing in the bigger ones wh where they actually get stream, stream revenue as well. A share of the revenue that the tournaments are bringing in. Now they turn into magnets, you know, and it's just they're repulsing each other. It's repelling. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, that's it. I want to, like, I, I will go back to this point of tournaments, uh, what Jimmy was talking about later, because it suits into another thing that we're going to talk about later but enough about Alex for today yeah, yeah. now it's time to talk yeah. about Bristleback because he's about finally Bristleback. in the game yeah I mean um, this patch I think most people were expecting more heroes because we saw uh, yeah, actually just through Bristleback we're talking about the Dota 2 update from last week last Wednesday um, people were probably expecting more uh, people knew that Valve was going to Hawaii they're going for two weeks it's not the whole company going for two weeks it's rather rotations but for the next two weeks the company will be pretty much working at below 50% capacity so um, we would not I mean let's not expect any kind of patch or update this week and the other week because probably it's not going to happen yeah, Bruno's given them two weeks off yeah but when anyway <laughs> Uh, what, what was added with Bristleback, um, in my opinion, a bit rushed to heal. The animations were not perfect. Seems like they wanted just to pull a hero ahead and Bristleback seemed to be the more ready one. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, anyways, really cool hero, very nice pub stomping hero. But I mean, the, it's not about Bristleback, it's not about the update. It's about the bad news that for the next two weeks we probably will not have any kind of updates to Dota 2. So it means no more new heroes, no... Uh, tutorial or anything like that. Uh, just throwing it out there, who, who do you think they would have put in if it wasn't Bristleback? Uh, well, I mean, the, the, the Skywrath Mage was yeah. also really uh, close. close to com being completed, and Elder Titan, which was Tor Torrent Chieftain, right. were the three that um, you could actually, like, uh, had pretty much everything, uh, except probably voice acting and something else, like animations proper. And, uh, whoop. God damn it. Don't die. <laughs> wow. It's falling over. Yeah, fortunately, the camera was not looking at you. Anyways, um, awesome there. yeah, and then it's also like Abaddon is also playable right now without a model if you actually tweak the files a little bit mm -hmm. and um, Legion Commander, so those two are also coming next. Um, ideally, I hope, and this is just my hope, uh, that every hero will be ported by the International 3. I think it's reasonable to expect that because last time they actually rushed the whole hero um, process by the time that the International was getting closer. Um, and it's much, I mean, it's not as many heroes as it was last year. And this year now we're focusing on other stuff. But probably, hopefully, I expect that by the time the International 3 will have the full hero pool or, or, or just all the hero pool except for one or two heroes. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> that's it. And if you don't and you want to complain, icefrog at gmail.com. Yeah. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't please. do it. <laughs> no more spam. <laughs> No more spam. Mm -hmm. Where is Terror Blade? Uh, Someone in chat asks. Uh, I, I just saw concept art from him. So concept art means really, really early. You know, no models in game, no abilities, no nothing coded. Just so, yeah, I take they still take some while. pretty pictures. You got stout shield in the game though. I dropped my stout shield the other day. Oh, I was like, yeah. what? It's beautiful. Yeah, they have like now when you drop some like branches or stout shield and yeah. stuff like that, you get the small models. It's kind of cute. Okay, Definitely. where are we going? Uh, yeah, Shoot this is really kids. short news, by the way. Um, Dota 101, College 8 Open, God's yeah. Luminous Vivaldi, Eternal Envy to cast. Um, actually, I mean, I've said pretty much all that was to say. It's, um, I think, a thousand dollars total, so it's a really small tournament. But the whole idea is, what do you think about esports in colleges? Like, colleges oh. as a venue to actually... I think it's crucial. Absolutely crucial that it, that it go into college, like we're seeing with StarCraft 2, uh, the CSL League. 
Uh, yeah, to I the long. To, it's crucial. I say it's good, but not good. It's all about oh, I, I mean, you look at any any major sport out there. Football, like take take American football. But why do you, you have know? to always relate everything to fucking? Well, we're not we're, we're not always, but it guarantees longevity to your game. It guarantees it getting it guarantees new eyes, it just younger. Some students who already play games, which is going to play games in a more organized. Exactly. Then you can build up from there, and then you go into high schools, and then you go down there, and then they're middle oh. school, and they're kicking a they're Keep kicking a zergling around. around. I don't know. But like, I think it's great that uh, Dota, you know, are actually trying to take that step into the college well, sphere. I mean, let's be fair. I come from a country where there's no this culture of college games. Like, if you go to play sports, you go. Mm -hmm. I mean, Argentina, vegan football, soccer for U.S. people. Uh, but I mean, big on football. If you are a good football player, you don't go to college and play football in your college. You just go to a sports club. So it's be like, I'll go to Barcelona and play soccer, not to University of Buenos Aires to play soccer. Right. So I mean, what I think is, especially in esports, where there may might be not too much talent lying around as compared to other sports, where like half of the kids play some kind of sport, um, limiting yourself to a college makes the finding a proper um, team, like a decent team. But that's what the College League serves. You have, uh, or I mean, take, okay, we're speaking America now. Uh, you, take, you take football, yeah. you know, American football. Yeah. That, that's essentially the farm league for the big leagues. You right. Know, that's uh, basketball, same thing. Yeah. You know, you got scouts that are coming from the pro leagues that are coming in and looking at every college player out there and being like, this guy's good statistically, this guy isn't, should we, you know, approach him, and et cetera. That's, that's how it works. So, like, the idea of having... <laughs> You know, these lower leagues that are going to act as farm leagues to lead up into the, pro into the pro teams, where the pro teams are going to be able to be like, hey, this team is doing really good. I really like that player. Let's poach them. Then you don't make a $1,000 tournament for colleges because, <sighs> I mean, I, wh why would you, like, if you were halfway decent, why would you play in a, like, try to get four friends from college that can somehow play the game to actually try and win a college aid tournament? When you can get your five friends, the four friends that play really good Dota together and just go into one of the... Larger. I mean, I think the price money is irrelevant. I think the really good thing about it is it's basically widening the broadening the player base and creating an infrastructure for getting new players into mm -hmm. in the competitive sports. This, is, a, this yeah. is the point of longevity. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, I'm public. not criticizing this particular tournament. Oh, sure. I mean, this is like we're just kicking I, around the concept. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah. I, I know God's Luminous be balling. They're three great guys. I don't know a ton of them, but I mean, it has to be really cool to to be with them. But um, yeah, that just that was my thought when I was thinking about colleges. Like, uh, that's just a difference in I mean, culture here. Maybe in the future, yeah. when we have something really huge, when we sell, when we have a league with a high barrier of entry, because I mean, like, there's people that are actually not Dota two player pro players that could actually break into teams and play in tournaments right now. Mm -hmm. Like we've seen streamers like Marlini, which is I mean, he was he was a pro player, but he's not anymore. He plays in time. Druskill could play in a pro team, like easily if he wanted to. Bruno. Yeah. James, of course. I mean, James. James never loses a game. So, but I mean, I think you wouldn't be allowed to play just because you never lose. It would be like really boring to play against you. That's yeah. why. That's why you Val don't play. Are paying me monthly. Yeah, exactly. To be. They're keeping you off the teams. Yeah. Yep. Off. I mean, because the entry barrier is so low, you actually have to choose between going into a college aid and just something like sounds to me like something more for fun. Like, yeah, let's play with my friends just for fun than actually trying to make something happen, like be big into esports. Uh, as I said, maybe in the future where the pro league is such that no non-pro player will have a chance to actually play against the good pro players is where this kind of amateurish league, college leagues, uh, will have will start making more yeah. sense. And it, but the, the good thing is it's small, it's starting, it's happening, it's going to be streamed. You've got some good commentators. They're going to take it from there, see what happens. It's not a big investment of time. Or it's money. not a big investment of money. If I wanted to, I could spend a week, go to all the universities and be like, in Sweden, be like, hey, I'm James. Uh, we want to do a, a tournament for you guys. Does anyone play Dota 2? Um, you know, put up some signs, blah, 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 and then you'd have a tournament, and it's a good thing. But Dota 2 is nice because it actually a lot of people, it lends itself to the kind of community of the university more, in my opinion, than just like StarCraft. StarCraft 1v1, it's quite stressful. Mm. Dota 2, play with friends, more fun. And so socially, it's, it's, it's a better game to be picked up. And also, it's interesting if it does work successfully uh, because sponsors are interested in getting their brand into universities. Yep. Um, so it's actually a very powerful product, University Leagues, but no one's done it properly yet. Um, there is two in StarCraft that have a pretty yeah. good shot of it, one in America, one in Sweden. We'll leave it at that. Yeah. 
Move on. It's fun. It's nice that it's done. Let's just say. Well, looking forward to it. I certainly am. I'm yeah. going to keep, uh, keep my eye on it. But um, let's see. We have another land that's been announced as well. This, uh, I don't know. Do we, do we have a... Yeah, Itumax. It was just like four hours ago, just before the show oh, yeah. started. Uh, it's a Singaporean land for Southeast Asia. Uh, 13,000 Singaporean dollars, which is something like... Two? No, no, no. It's pretty close, I think. Yeah, Singaporean dollars is pretty yeah, close. Yeah, it's so like $11,000, something like that. It's, so it's not too shabby. Yeah, yeah. It's, We're it's talking it's about like a star, la a star ladder here. Um, yeah, it's Singapore. I don't know. Anyways, uh, the the money is spread kind of thin, like ten thousand for the top one, two thousand, a thousand, and then the fourth one gets fifty dollars. <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah, fifty dollars oh, yeah. and five CM Storm headsets. <laughs> Do they smack him in the face too? <laughs> 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 oh, that's kind of awesome. <laughs> fourth place. <laughs> You get, look at this, oh, bring it up on your screen, oh, it's just, we'll that. that's Fifth quite eight. funny, Ten the left dollars. link of it. Yeah. Look at this, fourth place, US dollar, 10, times five. Times five, Steam, and it's Steam Wallet, it's not oh, even it's dollars. Oh, Steam it's Wallet, just... it's not real dollars. <laughs> so you can buy Steam games on wallets. Steam. Wallets, are you kidding? That's awesome. Ah, that's all right though, you get 10 bucks, buy Why some stone yes. right <laughs> item. Uh, no, but I mean, um, for, uh, just, I mean, ignoring the funny thing about the prize pool, it's a big Singaporean team. It says 80 Singaporean teams, 80 international teams that will emerge from qualifiers. Southeast Asian Dota, in my opinion, is getting stronger and stronger. Like we see teams like Zenith, Orange, MEFC doing really well against Chinese teams. So, I mean, it's, it's good that Southeast Asian Dota has more regular content and co quality content. And um, of course, to get quality content, you need big prize pools. And this is quite a decent price. Yeah, point. this is, you know, as we were saying earlier, a step in the right direction. So that's it. And good luck to them. When we have more information, we'll let you know. And, uh, well, we'll go ahead and stay in the territories. FXO Korea adds a Dota 2 squad, hence at a Korean league. Yeah, this is all related to the other big April 3 announcement, which was the Dota 2 together. Um, GOM TV announcement that they were going to make. Mm -hmm. uh, so talking a little bit about this first and then just jump into the other thing. Pretty much everything said. FXO is going to make um, a new team. They announced the players, I think, somewhere. I don't know the players. It's, all, it's a full Korean team. It's March, Devil Elf, Sagan, Bangfish, and Hell. So no player that has been played in any other famous team because as we know, I, I don't think we even have a Korean team playing in any of the big Dota 2 tournaments at all. So this would be the first. Wasn't there a team that Select was going to be on a while ago that was Korean? And it never happened. I remember something about it. Yeah, like, like that uh, was maybe an official or jump into Dota 2. Or what? what was it? Uh, it was for WCG. Yeah, he didn't go. Uh, that's that much I remember, but... Uh, I think that's the last time I can remember. But it wasn't that the there. WCG that no one really went anyways. It was a pretty mediocre tournament. I, I, I don't know. It might have been. It. I don't remember. I think the highlight that I remember was Combat X almost beating Parting. Yeah. At least that was it for me. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Anyways, yeah, so, I mean, uh, these guys, X. and I mean, just, no, I mean, jumping from this to, <laughs> no. No, um, no yeah, because this is the interesting thing that we left here because there's not really any kind of post or anything. Actually, well, it is. It's the next one because I have it because I was so good that actually I modified the document before coming here. And the next one is Dota Together announcement from GOM TV. Uh, the 3rd of April. It's just an introductory series aimed exclusively at Korean viewership. Yep, we watched uh -huh. it a bit. Yeah, I watched it as well. And then I, like, there was this guy, I, Tagus, T-A-G-U-S, made a really nice post on Reddit, um, just pretty much translating what happened. And it's, um, yeah, it's an introductory series. Like, okay, this is Dota 2, this is a hero, you have to last hit creeps, you have to, I mean, learning how to play. The interesting thing was that it's um, you can't watch it if you weren't uh, if you're in Korean. Yeah, we have it. We have it here. We can just show them real quick, uh, Trans, if you want. Pop up my screen, but uh. there was a guy restreaming. Yeah, there was a guy restreaming in Twitch. They pretty much just captured the. the yeah. I mean, a guy in Korea capturing the screen while watching the show. Mm -hmm. um, so it's in Twitch. You have, just have to find, probably go to Reddit, you'll find the, the stream I'm talking about. That has uh, been banned. But yeah, I mean, probably if you're watching this show, you're not interested in that. Uh, it's a good thing because, I mean, 
Gum TV is kind of big and yep. getting people into Dota 2. It's good. It's good. So it's a product that will grow. Maybe in six months, we'll see if this brings any fruit. Or there were some rumors things. about what it was going to be. What did some people say in the industry? I can't remember. Well, they were talking about a tournament. They were talking yeah. about yeah, the league like or something. A league, it? something. Yeah. Yeah. Like Korean only tournament or league. Yeah. So it's an introductory series, Gum TV, um, which is good. So it won't be long until the Koreans start taking all the money. Yep, yeah, essentially. Um, moving on, we have Vilot gets invited to TI3. Yeah, uh, just, this is a Twitter that just happened uh, oh yeah? okay. two hours ago. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, it might be true. Probably it's true. It's I mean, I have no TI3. doubt that Vilat will be at TI3. It's like Toby saying, I'm going to TI3. I mean, of course, we all know that Toby is going there. I mean, have you been invited to TI3 yet? I don't really know. It's a lot cooler than you. He's got like 4,100 emails. I mean, it's probably in there somewhere. <laughs> when I finished last time, they were like, next year? And I was yeah. just like, uh huh. I was like, get, just get drunk first. But, like, as far as, I don't know, it's, it's like, yeah, Vilat and, um, and Toby are the two safe bets for any commentators. And it's weird that they would tweet it because I'm sure that maybe Valve would like to release their full lineup in a press release. That's what they did at least last time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, w I wouldn't be surprised, but you know that I talked to some Valve guys and uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he has some contact there. It's like someone told him, yeah, well, for this year, we're going to do this and you're going to be there like casually talking. And of course, that would be confirmation that you are going. So if it's not something official, I mean, the same way as James was there, like when TI2 finished, I was talking to them. It's like, well, hope to see you next year. We'll see you next year. We'll make something better, even better than what we did this year. It was something cool. So, I mean, implicitly, yeah, we were all getting invited back. And even uh, there were people at TI2 that even though they didn't have a specific role, they were invited back just because they were in TI1. Mm -hmm. So I think Blizzard wants to do this Blizzard? thing that if Bow. you helped us once, Valve, sorry, oh. you said Blizzard. Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I'm That's fired. it, Bruno. It's nice knowing you, bud. We'll ship you back on the next plane. Good luck. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Valve, sorry. I uh, got Gabe messaging me right now. What's this <laughs> asshole doing on the show? <laughs> we'll take care of it, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> what a full pass. Uh, yeah, I mean, peop inviting people that actually has something to do with the first one into the second one. So even if, the, I mean, I hope that everyone that went into the second one will be going to the third one, even if they don't have anything specific to do, just like as a reward to, um, for being in the past. Mm. Okay. So yeah, that's it. <clears throat> so we talked about the next one, uh, Ties of Time retires and snaking, snaking to replace him. We uh, spoke about that because we had Dignitas actually play a match on the show where they uh, beat Fnatic. But yeah, Snaking, very young, is now a permanent member. And Ties of Time is a gone. permanent member. He was always a permanent yeah, member. Yeah, he was a backup player for a while. Oh, uh, okay. Backup dancer snaking. Yep. Yeah. Good name. Yeah, I mean, he was originally a player with pot and bottom, and then he, he decided... Is there any official statement on why he was not in the team at the beginning? Like, how he was in the team at the beginning. No, yeah, but I mean, he left. And then he he left back. after a while because of school, basically. Oh, because of yeah. school, right. Oh, uh, so, school, yeah. yeah. School is over. School now is you can play. Summer is here. Yeah. So, what yeah, I mean... Um, and what did, what did tides, of, tides of Time really say to you guys? Basically, lack of motivation. Yeah, there, there was a really... Uh, he actually made a really interesting post. Saying he made that a he's, long statement on our website. Yeah. Um, lack of motivation. He also talks about mechanics. said that he didn't feel that he was a player that was on par with the best teams. So, he didn't feel that he could improve, or at least with the motivation that he had at the moment. Mm -hmm. So, that it'd be wiser to just... I mean, so step he's just down. Bow out. Yeah, uh, then actually, like, bring the team back because he didn't feel he was up to par. I mean, yeah. Wow. It's a really good statement. You should go read it. Yeah, yeah that's well, that's yeah, not something you hear too often. You know, you got no, no, it's Rico, very, very, very sincere. Me. That's uh, that's the thing. I that's mean, the thing. You, yeah, the sincerity. It's very very sincere. It's not like your normal PR kind of. Yeah, exactly. I have. I'll pursue new avenues in my life and blah blah blah. Support <laughs> Oracle. You know, I mean, this, this is what people say yeah. when they leave, and this is not like that. This is really sincere, and I really liked it. I mean, good luck, ties of time, wherever you're going. If you're playing any any other esports, if you just don't. You're taking a step back. Hope to still see you in pubs. Just having fun in general. Uh, yep. Absolutely. So, so the G1 League 
NAU. Yeah. We have the info for the qualifiers now. Yeah, finally. finally. So it begins on April 14th, which is Monday, like not next Monday, but the other one. Mm -hmm. I mean, not oh, what are, like, April when? April 14th. So no next week, but the other one. And the, the way it works is kind of similar to <coughs> the, the Asian qualifier, but with less teams. So there will be a phase one and phase two only, instead of three phases. So phase one, it's eight teams. They will play a best of three against each other. There's no seeding yet. But oh, it's like a round robin? No, 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 no. Oh. It's just like you versus you, one versus two, three versus four, five yeah. versus six, seven versus eight. And the winner? So single elimination. This, the winner of these four... Goes to phase yeah, two. Exactly. So we ah. get four teams from there going to phase two. Uh, the teams in phase one are Virtus Pro, Team Empire, Evil Geniuses, Dignitas, Kaipi, Absolute Legends, Mouseport, and the Keep of Red Pandas. And in phase two, we have the four best teams of Europe and A, which are Nadis Vinture, <laughs> Fnatic, No Time Hunter, and Team Liquid. Uh, and for the phase two, it will be like, a, yeah, best of three double elimination format. So it's not like, now, no, not a group stage like we have right now in the G1 League Asia. Speaking about it earlier with Scriff, but uh, we weren't able to come to the conclusion as to whether it was the top slot that gets invited to the land finals? No, it's two it's slots. The top, yeah, the top two are invited to the finals and the um, top four from, yeah, top yeah, four so from. It's the, it's the top two. Yeah. And icing on the cake, all expenses paid as well. Yeah, of course. I mean, that's the, I mean, if you consider this a tournament apart from G1 League finals, this is a tournament whose price is a flight to China and accommodations for the... Um, Do they fly out. the manager out? Yeah. Goddamn Cupid Red Pandas. <laughs> <laughs> they better start training. Yeah. Fucking yeah, wagon's gone for five days. Look after a puppy. Is that you puppy? No, not puppy puppy. Wagger's gone back <laughs> home to fucking Skarna to look after a puppy. Yes. And I'm like, I pay you salary now. You have like a job. And I didn't think of it when I was letting him go, because I was like, yeah, yeah, go do what you got to do, you know. And then I was thinking, wait a minute, when are you coming back? On the 9th. When are your tournaments that you got to play in? Oh, on the 11th and the now 14th. And I'm thinking to myself, this kid's on a salary. He's gone to look after a puppy. There's such a thing as a fucking kennel. He could be here training Dota 2. So I'm actually really angry at Wagamama. Because he's like, he's overly nice. He's, of course he's going to say yes to look after the family puppy. I'm like, no, you should be playing Dota 2. Bad Wagamama. Yeah. Bad boy. Sit. Pissed. So if they don't do well in these tournaments, yeah. it's going to um, be hell to pay. This is going to be really big. It's the first tournament that actually invites, Chinese tournament that invites people from the <coughs> uh, North America and Europe. Not the last, but the first, which is always really good. Step in the right direction. Mm -hmm. so and uh, well, we, we mentioned it earlier, obviously, with the Keypad Red Pandas, but the DreamHack Invitational. Yeah, um, the, the bracket is announced, so it's going to be quite heavy action packed. As you probably know, if you've been following the tournament, there's round of six remaining. Um, so it's two round of six, then we'll go straight to semi-finals and finals. So the dates are, the round of six will be played on the 11th. So we have at 17 CST, we have the Cupid Red Pandas versus Fnatic EU. And at 20 CST, we have Empire versus Dignitas. So those two winners will go to semi-finals. And the semi-finals and finals will be played on Saturday 13th, starting at 15 CST with the first semi-final, uh, TL versus the winner of Empire Dignitas. 18 CST, we have NTH against the winner of Cupid Fanatic. And at 21 CST, we have the best of five finals. So it's going to be a really, really long cast. Really best interesting. Five, yeah. Crazy. Yeah, so well, basically what happened is, right, on the 11th, We've got, yeah, two round of sixes, which is normal. Mm -hmm. On the 12th, we have nothing, but we wanted to have the two semifinals. And on the 13th, which is where the finals is, but also now with the two semifinals on the same day, which is a really long day of like tournaments, is, is the final day. And the reason that we had to do this, unfortunately, is because, um, I mean, we spoke to G1 about their qualifiers yeah. and... And we were like, okay, we'll put it here. Can you put your qualifiers here? And G1 were like, yeah. And then we were looking <coughs> at what's going on. And we were like, okay, 12th is really good. And then apparently there's a match on the 12th, um, which is the TPL, the Premier League or something. And basically the Premier League match is it's a, it's a team with zero wins against a team with seven wins. 
And the team with zero wins have, are not even the original team <laughs> that got in. Like, yeah. like I don't know. It's like, Spain, the original yeah, team. Yeah, and they seven they games, and they're replacing the original team, and they've had to continue the tournament with seven losses. They can't qualify for the TPL. And so we were like, we were asked the TPL, we were like, look, could we, is it okay if I think it was even no Tidehunter or Fnatic or something? I can't yeah. remember exactly. We were like, is it okay if you move this game? And he's like, no, we, no, we got no No, 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 wait, 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 wait. He says yes at the beginning. Oh, does he? Yeah, he says yes. And I'm going to run. Uh, this is personal. I don't like this guy. That's <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, Bruno. Holy shit. Get the camera, I Bruno. I don't like this guy. Sorry. Uh, so everything that go I'm going to speak is biased, but I'm trying to talk facts and not opinions. So we approach the guy, actually, Michael talks, mm -hmm. Adavisi talks to him. And he's like, we have this match. Can we change it? He's like, yeah, sure, no problem. Talk to me in three days. Um, but we're going to reschedule this, no problem. So we schedule everything according to this, assuming this was not going to happen. As James said, we talked to G1, and G1 pretty much said, okay, tell us your dates and we will adjust. If we even have a, like, matches on the same day, we will make sure that the teams that are playing in the Dreamhack Invitationals are not playing in any of our matches. So, really cool. This guy said the sense, it's like, awesome. Three days later, we tell him, it's like, sorry, not going to happen. Because the two, mat the two teams already have used their wild cards. And they have to play, and we have no time slots, and um, can't happen. And then Mike says, but pretty much what you said, it's like this is an irrelevant match because it's a team that has pretty much no chance. And you're putting this on a Sunday, on a, yeah, it was on the Sunday. Sunday at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. <laughs> like prime time on a Sunday, a team that replaced a team with seven losses going up against either, I think it was No Thailand or yeah. Fnatic or something, who have already pretty much, you know, qualified yeah. and Mike called it an irrelevant match and then the guy got insulted yeah <laughs> the guy like, got insulted what? because I was already calling my tournament, tournament irrelevant. irrelevant insignificant was the, yeah, the word I think but whatever match. insignificant yeah um, it's like no it's by definition it's insignificant because the team has no chance to actually advance and uh, well he took it very rudely and uh, just um, conversations were ended there it's like nothing's going to happen nothing's going to get moved so we have to adjust it um, did you say the magic word, Bruno, please? Did anyone say please? Uh, yeah, of course. Okay. Of course. Good. You said please. Chat was just asking. Would you mind? Would you care? Yeah, sure. Thank you. <laughs> Would you be so like, kind? We're, we're, I mean, RVC is a very civilized person. As you oh, all know. yeah, sure. Yeah. On the internet. <laughs> <laughs> On the internet, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, so bottom line, we had to reschedule around this. And this brings me again to a point that actually <clears throat> goes back to TPL. TPL, objectively, it's a tournament that has mm, a third of the viewers, uh, between a half and a third of the viewers that other tournaments, right? Uh, like the defense, D2O, well. if you look at the stream numbers, they're not, this, they're not as big, even though they have the same teams. So my concern is not right now with the TPL, but actually with an unfortunate thing that happened, which is TPL has, uh, if you buy the ticket, you get a courier. But it's not only a regular courier, but also a courier that gets upgraded the more t w matches you watch on the TPL. And TPL is the first tournament that actually did this. Uh -huh. Now this poses a problem to me, um, which is, like, in, t in Team Fortress 2 there were lots of item whores. Like, you know, you buy the item, whatever. In Dota 2 we have the same right now. We have Welcome couriers that are worth, uh, I don't know, in upwards of a thousand dollars right now already. If you get an international courier like the Drodo or things like that, I think it's worth like 300, 500 dollars each. And, of course, a query like this, it can be upgraded. It's very interesting because it's not something that you can trade. You have to actually buy the ticket in order to get the full courier, in order to get the full value. And it's really interesting for people who have one items because you can't just buy, I mean, unless... In order, the only way to actually get the courier is actually buy the ticket, watch all the matches, right? Oh, because so it's unlocked after a certain number of matches watched? Yeah, I mean, no, no, you get the courier, but oh, you, get the courier, you just watch okay. matches and the courier goes uh, evolving right, like a evolves. Pokemon or right, whatever, right, right, it gets okay. like okay, okay. stuff. And um, of course, this is really great, like, it's really great that Valve did this very interesting business model because they're now appealing not only at the people that care about watching tournament, but also the people that want the expensive item to trade or whatever. Um, but it's really unfortunate that they did this for this league. Because you see there, like the viewer numbers in the Dota TV, and it's huge. I'm sure. I'm sh yeah, yeah. And the stream numbers are kind of small. So what happens is, <clears throat> uh, a league like this, because of this, gets uh, support, like more support from Dota TV than others. 
hopefully, like in an ideal world, everyone gets the same things. But also, I would like to see some kind of, well, if your league is really good, we're going to add this extra value. Because this career upgrading thing, going into the league, supports the league. But there's no measure of whether the league is good, actually, to actually deserve that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So by not making that kind of uh, dis like discern between good and bad, you actually are supporting a tournament that hopefully will be get better. But right now, it's the weakest of the tournaments like D2L, the defense. And you wouldn't think that that was part of their reasoning. They want to help these, this young fledgling, this young ugly duckling grow. Yeah, yeah but well, the thing is, it's like TPL gives out prize money. Um, it's a tournament. It's there. You know, and but they're but you know, like I know what you're saying, you're just saying like personal, this is a situation, but at the end of the day, it's like, yeah, it's just another tournament that people have to deal, you know, work around. I mean, and the thing is, um, the, this is not about TPL in particular, this is just I would like to see um, that this kind of bonuses to the leagues will be applied in a kind of like, okay, you have been producing content of a cer certain quality for a length of time now. You can have a career of this kind, right? Uh -huh. You could have like things that help your league more, because financially, by them having that career and it being upgradable, they they make a lot more money off the Dota Two Valve system. Yeah. Um, and so their business model, lots of matches, all the time. You watch them; it upgrades the career. You focus your tournament more around what's happening in Dota 2 than maybe the stream numbers and the matches have to be played because if you play a match, people have to watch it to upgrade their career because you get a new part. Oh, yeah, I mean, no, thank you for explaining the it. Uh, the cap for, like, yeah. Yeah, but, but I mean, it's not explaining it to you. No. Just, the, I mean, the cap for um, Dota TV or whatever you but Anyway, let's, can we move on from this? It's yeah. been it like just, ages. Uh, it, to, to me, it just sounds a little, your reasoning, it's like you want Valve to help the, team, the, the tournaments that are already doing well for themselves um, rather than help no, a, team, that a tournament actually just, that needs to be helped? It, it should be a way to discern like this is quality As content, this is not so quality content. Because giving them something like that doesn't improve the quality of the content and giving them money or something. Uh -huh. uh, I, mean, it, I mean, money kind of directly, you know, you can pick up commentators and yeah, pick up exactly. better material. Yeah, exactly. Do something with that money or yeah. just so yeah, make it, it grow. For me, it just sounds like... Well, what I'm saying here, good. the bottom line is I hope, really hope TPL5 is a really awesome product because they got help because of some this courier and this stuff mm -hmm. that will help them probably get better production quality, better teams, a more decent format laughing, and yeah. bigger um, Was this Valve, this was Valve that were, um, who, uh, who approached first with the, cur with the idea of the courier? Was this their concept or was it Valve that offered this courier? Um, is, it, is there I a lot more that goes into it because of this? Into the courier? No, I mean you, you have to create the particle effects for the couriers, pretty much. All right, so much more demanding as far as time is concerned. Yeah. All right. So, I mean, I don't know. I it's just... Yeah. It's, I just say, okay, I'm yeah, going yeah, we'll to go ahead and move on. If not, yeah, James is going to have an aneurysm or something. So, moving on. The whole conversation on. was, we're, we were really stacked final day for DreamHack Online Invitationals. Yeah, and then we... Like, due to, unfortunately, some teams uh, unable to reschedule, uh, some organizations unable to reschedule what they have planned. Um, but we spoke to the teams and everyone seems fine about it, so hopefully it will run smooth. Um, but otherwise, yep. hopefully you enjoy the Dota 2 Online Invitationals. Trance, what am I looking at on the Dota 2 subreddit? If you can't see it, then you're really fucking blind. <laughs> okay. Really How to derail the fucking talk, whatever. We'll let James uh, search. Did you find it? It's been in the chat for a while as well. Yeah. yeah. Hey. Our website's live. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, finally. No, it's not. No, what? it's not. It's not. Ah, it's the, yeah. Hey. Hey. <laughs> Combo breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, gay. Our Bye. website sucks. I've seen it. One last thing about the drink invitation. People were asking in chat about the surprise. The surprise will be coming for the playoffs. Um, it's really cool. It's going to get here this Friday. Something physical, something nice. So we're making an announcement. So, yeah, no, it's really asking. It's like, yeah, you'll see very, very soon. It'll be here soon. We haven't been saying that for the past year. Don't worry. Yeah. Soon. All right. <laughs> the defense season three concludes. Virtus Pro wins 3-2 over Fnatic. I'm, I'm surprised. Really good match. Um, I'm surprised. Talk about David versus Goliath, maybe? What? No, Virtus Pro were like really, really good. But yeah. at the same time, like they just had such poor performances in a couple of other tournaments. And then they're like, oh, oh, by the way, and now we won the defense. Kind of weird. Yeah. And Fnatic have been really strong and they had some very, um, 
uh, old games, in my opinion. They didn't seem, like, Fnatic haven't seemed as awesome as they were a couple of months ago. Well, to be no. fair, I think there's like 10 teams up there that can basically beat, win beat each other. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, yeah. all teams are going to go up and down. I mean, that's yeah, what Wagger said as well. Yeah. He was like, so we can beat some of these teams. We can't beat some of them, you know, the others. Um, but it's like, you don't, you don't really know who's the best right now because everyone yeah. can take games off others in Dota too. So. In any case, the finals went to five <laughs> games. What are you laughing at? What you got? That yeah. face. Oh <laughs> yeah. yeah! Bring up my screen. No. Bring up my screen. No. Bring up. No. It's not no, Hitler. No. It's just a mustache. It's a mustache. You can't. It's a mustache. Why are you hating on the stash? <laughs> I can't believe I'm encouraging so you to put this on the stage. I can't. What? But you know, <laughs> that's ridiculous. No one's gonna be able to wear that mustache again unless we start giving it some limelight and stuff. You know, Hitler ruined it for no. years. We're bringing it back. Generations to come. Can't wear it. Well, um, going back to the defense, it was really nice. I enjoyed the casting from Toby and Sindarin. Were there? They had one. Toby had black hole shirt. Sindarin had a Jimmy's back shirt as well. They had really nice dynamic. I mean, these two are really good when they're together. So they had a really nice flow. The matches, the five of them were stomps. Like for each one team or the other, it was not even one match that was close. Uh, uh, but I mean, the tournament was good. The panel of panelists was, I think, much better than the last one. Uh, the one they did in G League it was felt more polished. Um, it I'm, was nice. Not, yeah. yeah, it was like Malk, Bulba, um, a couple more guys. Uh, Fear and. Fear. Pike. 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 Yeah, and Epi right. was the one kind of moderating, and he was really good as well because he moved along the questions, in my opinion, quite no, nicely. E yeah, Epi was there as, yeah. uh, as a host. Well, he was just like, ask questions to this guy, this guy's opinion, this guy's opinion, this guy's opinion. Okay, wrap it up, send it back to yep. the game. Yeah, the only thing I miss is that the fact that because they had Cinder in there, I'd love to see Cinder in the panel as well. Because it felt like the moments where you actually saw Cinder in live with Toby were just two minutes before the game started. And of course, I mean, he brought the commentary, the analytical commentary, which is great. But I mean, I, I, I like the guy and I saw him there and I would have seen him more interactive, like in person, having seen his face, talking with the other guys and everything. But, uh, I'm sure that for <laughs> next time they'll do that. Anyways, the Defense 3 is finishing and probably they'll be announcing the Defense 4 soon. Yeah, and uh, Defense 3 is, of course, uh, powered by Own3D.tv. So make sure you give them all your support. Head over to Own3D.tv right now. Oh, wait. And say thanks for sponsoring the defense tournament. By the way, you owe Sing about six thousand dollars. Oh, what you haven't paid? Mm -hmm. Oh, look, own 3 dtv They do have a website still. Dear business, dear own 3D business yeah, partners. Business yeah, so, own 3D oh, okay. in his management. We've evaluated the future of own 3D. Yeah. Moving, Moving on. on. Moving on. Moving on. RDL. RDL I'm going to send them an email. Wait. Are you going to write them an email right now? I'm going <laughs> to go for it. I'm just going to say thanks for sponsoring the defense. It was really good. Yolo or I hope I hope you do more. And <laughs> 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 um, defense. Just watched the defense finals. What a thriller! Was on the edge of my seat. That Toby <laughs> chap, despite being a homosexual, is fantastic on television. On internet TV, we call it. <laughs> All right. Send that. I actually sent uh, another email as well. Um, I sent one to the Pulse because the Pulse Twitter uh, tweeted that. Um, I know, yeah. The, the Twitter asks any questions for their panel on the post, and I, I get really bored sometimes. So I wrote something to the post on, via email. I got a response, actually. Uh, it's something I've always wondered. Due to the set design, I'm only able to see my favorite eSport host and commentator, Rotterdam, from the waist up. After months of research and even hiring a private investigator, I'm still unable to find my answer. So I would like to ask, how big is Rotterdam from the waist down? Kind regards, James. <laughs> and Geotrop messaged me back, emailed me back today. <laughs> He's like, uh, measuring from his feet or his other, I don't even know how to say this word. Appendages. Appendages, yeah, whatever. Smart man. Uh, because his feet are sustainably shorter. <laughs> I didn't think it was that funny. Be like, wasn't that funny. <laughs> 
thought your response would be more funny than it was. Disappoint. Merciless. <laughs> Give Lauren picks. Okay, thanks. Jay. Uh, thought your response. We've got a proofread. You know, two P's and disappoint. Yep. Ooh. Jeez. Done. Okay. <clears throat> Great. <clears throat> Sorry about that. I seem to sidetrack the show a little it's bit. Fine. It's what I, I do in my spare well, time. I, I email people. I did it myself. So. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, the Rhythmix D, the Rhythmix Russian Dota League, the other $6,000 tournaments organized by Virtus Pro, uh, completes Dignitas. Congratulations. Easy win. Easy win. Easy yeah. money, easy like one. Easy. Yeah, they look very, very convincing over the tournament. Um, and again, this is, this is really good. This is surprising. People were doubting Dignitas in the last couple of weeks because there were a couple of poor performances. But I mean, winning a tournament like this, and also, of course, being in the round of six and possibly like in the role of winning the Rink Invitational. Yeah, we're really third good. at the defense as well, so. Yeah. yeah. So you went like, yeah, you lost in the Constellation Finals. Yeah. Pretty much. Definitely. So third place. Uh, yeah, I mean, Dignitas and Dignitas doing really well. Um, with the international three approaching, I think that's really, really important. You want the results right now because. The invites probably will be coming. I mean, looking at what happened last year, the invites started rolling at end of March, beginning of April. Sorry, end of April, beginning of um, May. May. So, I mean, this is kind of like it's getting the moment. Yeah, the final. Yeah. Looking at TI3, though, I think they should do more online, or not, maybe not online, but they should do more qualifiers, not just invite people that they like. Um, was this TI? Well, la last year they did the. Yeah, but I think they should do even, even, even more qualifiers. I think so it's more fair for the teams. What. Um, what do you suggest? Like, how many invites? How many qualifiers? How many teams are going to uh, TI? 16. 16. 16, 16, 16 teams. teams. I yeah. think they should do four invites. Wow. Four invites. Yeah. In general. The rest qualifiers. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I think I would. I would rather see a 50-50 split. Mm. Like six to eight teams, maybe two from each region, maybe six qualifying. What about making it so certain stops with? Uh, like secure a qualifier spot. I like say you win DreamHack Summer. Mm, uh, putting a point system into because it? not everybody has the opportunity to go to DreamHack Summer. Mm. Uh, well, I guess that's people who want to go to TI would then should. Um, but I would rather just see Valve at the team pool to thirty two. Yeah, mm. me too. Yeah, and just use a bit of the price mm. money for that. I mean. So lower the price money, but get it's doesn't matter if you win like one million. I, I don't think the money is a problem for yeah. in this kind yeah, well, of scenario. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I really think. I, the I mean, question is, I mean, do you even have the two good teams to the international, or do yeah. you just start to have looking into tier two? Could make it twenty-four. Could make it twenty. This is really far from my mouse. Yeah. yeah. Let's move on. Yeah. Anyways. I have um, to sleep soon. Okay. So D two L playoffs announced. It's this weekend, actually. Uh, this next weekend, right? Yep, April 10th and 11th. Oh, no, that's not the weekend, actually. It's, uh, yeah, it was, we were talking with Mike about this. It's Wednesday and Thursday. Yeah, right in the middle of the week. And uh, it's a lot of matches, actually, because it's a um, four-team double elimination. So that makes it one, two, three, four, five, six best of... Five best of threes and one best of five, I think, uh, in two days. So it's going to be very, very action-packed. Uh, what? Wasn't our tournament on the other night? Yeah. 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 But everyone confirmed that everyone's happy with it. I don't think there's an overlap between the 14th from D12. I don't have. Uh, well, might be an overlap with us and Empire. But it's, a it's just a round of six on 11th. So we have oh, yeah. Dignitas and Empire. It's going to overlap. Yeah, but aren't they. Yeah, yeah, there they are. Everyone said that they were okay with this, so yeah, I, I, I mean, trust the teams. Yeah, it's good. It's no problem. Well, we have <laughs> lots of people in the house. <laughs> I can do play by play. <laughs> yeah, I'll make my Dota 2 commentary <laughs> debut. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. But anyways, um, it's a really, really action-packed couple days from D2 all. D2 all started in December. Wait, wait, I hear Mike coming. <laughs> 
the fuck up with his fucking overlaps. Okay? What about Jessica? What about Dreskill? Oh, Dreskill's on. Dreskill doesn't sleep anyway. <laughs> Dress doesn't Dress, sleep yeah, anyway. Yeah, you can cast yeah, everything. Like anyway, are we yeah. getting out of this Dota 2 yeah. thing? Because it feels like we were doing so well at the start of Dota 2. We were moving along the topics, and then we just you went off on one on TPL. I emailed asking NSL for pictures of it's Lauren. Just two more things, actually. When oh, okay. Done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we have D12. We talked about that. EMS top eight teams qualified for LAN are set. It's Mouse, Fnatic, EU, Navi, DD, NTH, BP, and Rocks Kiss. Uh, the sad thing is that, well, Empire and Team Liquid are not qualifying. And the four teams invited from NA, which were um, Fnatic NA, Eosin Plus 4, Infinity Gaming something, and uh, Team Liquid, Infinity Gaming, Infinity Beyond Gaming Infin something? I don't know. I should check. Not because it's kind of rude that. not to check. But uh, it says Infinity Gaming, yeah. You know what's funny about Dota? I mean, every topic is, we're talking about the same teams in every topic, we just do divide it by team instead. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, the, the new North American teams did not evolve, they lost blood? everything. <laughs> Where's that yeah, fresh blood coming for? We, we need that need CSL league up now, yeah. we need that collegiate yeah. league. Yeah. league. We need fresh blood in the scene. There you go. Now it makes sense. We're going to have another quake on our hands. Now it makes sense. So well, uh, EMS will be not this weekend, not next weekend, but the other one. It's uh, the 2021, I think. So it'll be in Poland, it'll be really cool. Stay tuned, it'll be fun. Yeah, offline finals. I mean, it has to be good. They've got a really cool host. Yes, they have a really, really cool host. Cool. EMS have got a really good host yeah. for their Dota too. Can't say. Can't say. It's not us though. No, but it's really cool. It's it's, it's a friend of ours. Yeah. It's a really good friend, and uh, I'm really happy that he got it because he totally deserves it. You guys. Dude, why are you saying he? You trying to throw him off? Yeah. Well. Okay. He or she. I haven't seen that too person late. naked, so ah. I can't. Too late. It's a, it's a he. Oh, I'm gonna guess the chat will, the the will work their magic. Yeah. 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 Anyways, yeah, that's the final info. So I'm doing. Essentially, now uh, if we can cue the music. <sighs> yeah, I guess I have the music. It's okay. Script does this. I mean, so even now that we'll have a YouTube channel, we can't actually put that music because otherwise they'll. Sensor. Right. right. So we need to come up with something. Yeah, you know, we have to some find something. I'll somewhere. bring my silo phone or some bongos and make improv music. Xylophones. <laughs> <You> know, <laughs> Let's go back to the 60s. <laughs> you don't have to keep quite that <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> Bruno, <laughs> you sit the same way that Toby does when he's got a guest oh, on his geez. show. <laughs> <laughs> like, you just, he's like, welcome to my show. Here's my gimp. <laughs> I'm here to cast Dota 2. With the no need, no no need of help. It's just that I feel that because you have the screen here, I feel that. I yeah, sorry, it's bad. Anyways, stats for today. Uh, we're talking exclusively about G1 League because it's kind of something we haven't talked before, and uh, it's really interesting because Chinese South Asian completely different from the meta that we have in Europe. So starting with the heroes, real fast. The most picked heroes. I actually took the first ten because it's two for each position. So we have for support, we have. Uh, Shadow Demon and Rubik, the most picked, um, with 60 and 53 out of 71 matches. So for me, um, heroes, the most picked are Magnus and Quop. So very survivable, just Magnus because of his tankiness, Quop because Blink, of course, and they also bring lots of teamfight. Uh, for the three position, or actually the offlane position instead of the three position, uh, Darkseer and Lundruid. Darkseer, of course, more naturally an offlaner. Lundruid, uh, a carry that can go in the offlane or even solo in the safe lane. Also very, very favored by the Chinese and the South East Asians. We also have Keeper of the Light in between there, but we don't really care about much him because he's OP anyways. And finally, the favored carries are Lifestealer and Anti-Mage. Moving on to, really quick, to Band. Uh, Bad Rider is the most banned hero in um, China and in Asia in general, with 67 bans out of 71 matches, and he won all the four matches when it was not banned. So, um, really strong pick. Um, just want to mention, by the way, uh, Newman will be asking questions on this afterwards, okay. yeah. uh, so continue as yeah. you were. Uh, then there will be a quiz. I'll be asking questions as well. <laughs> also banned... No, you've got the sheet. <laughs> <laughs> also banned Nyx, which is really common, and surprisingly Lifestealer, which is mostly first pick material, well not first pick, but often pick material in Europe, and uh, in Asia they just decide to ban him, and they don't really want to play against Wynn. Uh, the, for the win rate, I'm just going to point out one thing, which is Gyrocopter 13 and 2. In Asia, I remember when talking with Pika, they said they didn't really like Gyrocopter as a carry because 
it's weaker in lane phase compared to other carries, but I mean, a couple teams have been experimenting with him in Asia, and 13 and 2 means a really, really strong gyrocopter. Um, now we're going to teams, hot or not. The hot team of the week is Zenith, which have been doing magnificently. Magnificently. Really, really well. Yeah, magnificently, yeah. Thank you. Magnifico. Uh, they won 2 0 versus first departure, 2 0 versus New Illusion Thailand, and 2 0 versus DK, which for some people it was an upset. But um, for some people it was not because the not team of the week is DK, which lost to Zenith and IG. I mean, they lost two and all both games, and even though they were expected to lose versus IG, people were expecting them to at least win one game because for most people they're one of the teams that will go to TA3 because they got fourth place last year. They were doing so well. They didn't do anything since G League, and now they came back after two months hiatus. How do you say yeah? Hiatus. Hiatus. Thank you. And, uh, I mean, they're underperforming right now, so how to get better. Finally, for player of the week, uh, going back to Zenith again, but because these guys have been doing really well, Ice Ice Ice, the carry slash multi-use um, player, because he plays pretty much anything, has been averaging uh, 461 GPS, 7, 3, and 8 in kill death assist. And most impressively, he's one that been doing really, really well in Gyrocopter, particularly with a 23 and 9 line. Uh, in a game with 70, 749 GPM versus first batch. So Ice Ice Ice, you are the play of the week. Congratulations Ice Ice Ice. And that's, that's, and that's Dota 2 for the that's week. That's Dota 2 for us. What? Oh yeah, I got um, the, the <laughs> NASL <laughs> link. NASL actually, when yeah. I said I want pictures of Lauren, they actually got me pictures of Lauren. <laughs> but they just, yeah, they did the Google search, <laughs> Lauren Elise, <laughs> that I replied with OP delivers. To be a little bit funny. Nice job. <laughs> NASL. Well played. All right. <laughs> well, I think we're going to go ahead and keep the rest of the short and sweet. We won't take a break. We'll just go ahead and uh, get through because uh, we only have a few topics left for the night. Uh, in League of Legends, I suppose the biggest thing that hasn't been talked about yet is that LCS has started broadcasting on Azubu TV. So How's that going? Have you seen that, Newman? Azubu TV? I went to watch the Azubu stream. I saw the Reddit thread yeah, earlier Reddit today. Thread is really what's what was the result of the Reddit thread? People seem to like it that they're actually using Azubu, but there's lots of stuff missing from Azubu to be, I mean, for it to be a competitor to mm. Twitch, basically. But I think the, the customer service or the, the community management from Azubu right now is really good. Azubu Garvey was in that thread basically answering everyone, so it's... No. Yeah, he's... But it's still, they have a long way to go. Okay, cool. And uh, what's next then? Is it Chaos to train with IEG? Mm. What does that mean? Chaos is the uh, player from TSM who just got kicked off, uh, replaced by Wild Turtle. It was what um, yeah. had you, you know, for the Game Center, if you listen to the interview, that was what the whole debate was about. Wait, you watched the Game Center? Yeah, I actually watched it through mm. and through. Slasher show. Got to support the Slasher. Yeah, man. Anyway, she's training with uh, this... Korean team Did he say that he's training? Because what I gathered from the blog is that he was actually just going to be traveling from city to city and basically visiting as many team houses as possible. Oh, okay. I didn't catch the training part. Uh, ah. Regardless, Kaox is actually going to make the move to China, and uh, I'm sure it'll keep us posted. In the FGC this weekend, we had final round 16 that was played, and it was awesome, according to Metabi. I'm sure it was, because Infiltration actually won Super Street Fighter 4, NY Chris G actually wins the MV, uh, pardon me, the uh, Marvel vs. Capcom Filipino champ third, Justin Wong coming in seventh, and lots and lots more fighting games. <laughs> <laughs> I love it when the document's so. What's wrong, Trent? What's the fucking what's wrong? matter? What's, what's wrong, Trent? He's doing a great. Doesn't fucking matter. You just bring it down, and if it's a, if you know we're gonna be, don't be mad at Semler, Trance. Give him the eyes. Give him the eyes. No, Trance. If if we're gonna be skimming through it, yeah. If we're gonna be skimming through it, you don't need to put every single fucking thing on the news tab. The news tab is for discussion. It's for when we're gonna spend more than thirty seconds on a topic. Okay. Okay, um, so I'm, I, I'm going to give Trance time to update the next one. So uh, the kittens, man. No, you're not? All right, let's do it. Let's do it. So Quake Live. I'm, I'm done. Sidland 2, Quake Live land in Australia on the 27th and 28th of April. How does this make you feel, James? Uh, warm and fuzzy. <laughs> Good to hear it. Good answer. All right. Hey, I played Quake today. I know you did. You owned. Yeah. 
I, I played my it. first duel in about 10 months and I won. It was pretty slow. Pretty this sudden. is someone from Poland. So did you, did you play the, the other guy on Quake Live? What? Did you play the only other guy on Quake Live? <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it was me versus the other a guy. bot. <laughs> I was very proud I won though, I have to admit. He, I mean, he was surprisingly uh, hesitant. No, he was saying, no, this guy is probably better than me, I don't know if I can win. I know, I know like, we much. should end the show, but I just, I just want to say that Singh's really knocking my confidence lately. Cause Singh. Singh? Yeah, he keeps saying I'm bad at Dota. Like, he's always like, no, James, you're bad. And I come up with tactics for the Red Pandas. He's like, no, James, you're bad. And I'm like, maybe they would work if you were good enough to make them work. <laughs> I, I just want to be involved and show my passion. So everyone's like, James sucks at Dota. And then when we played TMM, he gave me Trent. And then Trent's useless hero. So I just went to the Roche pit and then made myself invisible just so I could tell you guys when Roshan was up. <laughs> and the, the feature of what I did in our Dota team MMM, I was live from the Roche pit, um, which we could have just timed Roche. But no, I sat there with my tree and it was pathetic. We actually sat there um, for 10 minutes. <laughs> And so whenever I, p I started playing Quake, like today, and because um, and I, and I want people to know I'm good at video games, I sit there and I'm like, Bruno, Bruno, watch, watch this, watch <laughs> me play, watch me play, Bruno. And then I play this guy and I, and I win and I'm like, I'm fucking good. So I'm taking everybody in the house and one-on-one -on -one sessions to watch me play people in Quake live so they have some respect for me finally. Because everyone just thinks I'm shit because I'm 30 and I'm past it, but I'm fucking not. It's the prime of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Never playing Trien again. But it's oh, such a cool hero. Yeah. It's my favorite hero, man. Towers don't die when Trent's in the game. Yeah. All right. What else have we got? I'm the best. $1,000 <laughs> prize for the 125 FPS March League final. And it looks like the uh, results are in. So, Cypher takes it, $500 to his name. Kilson comes in second with 250 Pavel with 100 in third. And Guard takes $67. $1,000 April League has been confirmed. The Corsair Saturday Derby number two. Cypher beat Cooler 3-1 in the finals. Not sure how much money he made, though. Check yes reality. That's cool. About 130 USD. Uh, no, 130 USD. Wasn't that? Yeah. What did you say? 500 or 100? Oh, 130. Oh, yeah. Because of the, 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 the Corsair Cup, I think, is a yeah, Russian uh, Cup. So, it's big money in Russia. You won! Very what? Big money. You won! <laughs> you know, what have you been done? <laughs> what is it check, 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 no. trans Twitter. <laughs> check trans Twitter. No. no, no. Check trans Twitter. You're fucking dead. Trans Twitter. <laughs> check, go to Twitter. <laughs> Check trans. Fucking <laughs> 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 I got it. I got it. Bring it up. <laughs> yes, we got it. <laughs> You're mad over this. Dude, seriously, yes, mad. I, I, I didn't even have this reaction. The poll. I can't believe <laughs> Newman, you should have used the official account. Why did you just say lol? You should have tweeted at them. Fucking Newman. I can't believe you, Seriously. Good job, Newman. <laughs> Retweeted by Hellspot. Like whenever I, whenever I, whenever I talk about League of Legends, whenever I talk about League of Legends, I admittedly don't like the game that much. But I have said to Joe Miller at ESL, I'm like, I'll play League of Legends with you if you stream it. Like, I'll join you for League of Legends games because I haven't played it for like ever now. So I don't know how much the game's changed. To have a real opinion, you know, again, like an up-to-date opinion, I should play some. And Joe said he play. But whenever you got on League of Legends, trans, you hate it. Are you? I'm sure. I've made it what to the lowest point in my career as a casual gamer. Come on. You hate League of Legends. Just admit it. You're walking home, you tonight. I'm not dragging you back. <laughs> um. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so that brings us to the end of the Quake Live segment, City Shit Stories with James segment, and what was the other segment we did at the end? League of Legends. League of Legends and the fighting game. <laughs> And the fighting game, yeah. So, um, yeah, that kind of wraps it up for today's show. It does. I was a bit spaced out, i got to admit, for most of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't really paying much attention. Hopefully people in chat were, because they can tell you what it was like. I'll ask you them on Scripps' account, how was the show? 
Oh, Reborn. People asking, yeah. I was meant to get updates at the end of uh, March for like Reborn and where I'm taking it next. Um, but I'm actually still working with the people to organize what's happening. So I've got another week and a half uh, wait until I get some um, m through some more meetings, etc. for it. So I can't really say much about it. So sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> well, <clears throat> damn. Where's our website, by the way? And that's, I don't know. I don't know. We have it top, but it's but a hey. It's a yeah. hey, yeah. It just needs to put it right, I guess. What do we got coming up, then? So basically, what we can tell you about is that we will be playing Quake this Friday night in the Beat the Studio. So that's going to be our next show, barring some act of God. Uh, because we did do uh, full steam, and we are Wednesday today. Mm -hmm. So Beat the Studio on Friday night. It's going to be Quake Live, so if you want to take a crack at James... See if he's as good as all that. Feel free to join. Yeah, um, that's Friday, yeah? Friday night, and then obviously the good show next Tuesday. We'll be back to our regular time next week. When's full of steam? Why are we not doing a full of steam this week? What's Didn't going on? Yeah, week? you're doing full of steam. Did you yeah, you are. Did you do full of steam last night? night? Oh, I did full of steam last yeah, night, yeah. yeah. I remember, I was <laughs> on I know, I didn't even watch it. I was there. I could have swore I heard and you Trif. guys out of the studio last night. Hmm. All right. And uh, in StarCraft, the GSTL continues. CODES, WCS, starts tomorrow morning with Group A. We already went over that in detail. I'm not going to get back into it again. But check out Team Liquid if you want more info regarding that. And the DreamHack Invitational is going to continue on the 11th. On the yep. 11th. And the 13th. But that's after next show, so we're going to talk about that. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk we, about that. We'll, we'll give you guys the preview. Are we, doing we'll instant, are we doing instant replays for that chance? Hopefully. 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 Don't know yet. Maybe. We have the surprise. We have instant replays. No, you have to bring something, Bruno, remember? Yeah, I have the surprise. You have a surprise, I because a everyone's surprise. like, what the fuck's Bruno's surprise? I have a surprise. He has the instant Yo, replays. What are you doing? And uh, I don't know, I want something else. Oh, my bad. Nice job. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. and the kittens are fine. And the kittens no, are the surprise, fine. No, the surprise, that's not how surprises work. We're Charles. really going to have to rethink their names. John Snow, really? John no, and no, Snow? I don't really no. want to call them no. John and Snow. Ghost, I'm cool with, because we had Arya in the last. Yeah, Ghost, Ghost, okay. I mean, we had, we had some, we, this is kind of a theme now. We got the Game of Thrones names. They're gonna go from batch to batch until we decide to actually get Mingle's uh, spade. <laughs> yeah. But <laughs> uh, we should have Ghost in honor of Jon Snow. But then we need to find. We'll a make third a poll, but not a poll like here. A poll in the house. We're um, not naming a kitten potato. <laughs> 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 We're not doing it, man. Just draw the line there. Um, <laughs> what do you want to do after the show? I really want to play TMM for some reason. Yeah, well, we can play TMM. Well, our Scriff and Weppers are around. Is Draskal streaming? Uh, he no, he streamed for like 12 hours. He may have gone to sleep though. Mm. If he's awake, we can definitely do TMM. Uh, wait, 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 hold on. Did they ever find the kitten that uh, got let out? That, oh, in, oh. that in control let out. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Jiger. Might as well update on that. Jiger. Uh, like reappeared. She's she is alive. What? Was a girl. Was a girl. What? Was what? Oh no no no. It was a, it was a she. We had no, two Jager guys and two girls. girls. We had two guys and two girls. Dude, James, come on. Nay. Hello. What? Nay. No. No. Nay. Female. Really? Yeah, female. I'm telling you. The more you know. I'm really like insisting on this. You know, it's like how do I know? But uh, yeah, Jagger is alive. Oh shit, Civ Five. I'm never no. I uninstalled that game. It's staying uninstalled. We can go crash sing stream. Okay. I don't think you like that. Crashing in stream. Stri no, no, not like here. Major is probably sing dead. was doing sub games, right? I, I talked to Red Pandas and I'm like, look, guys, you know, just play with the guys. They, you know, like the your subs, they're supporting you. You know, this is a good thing. Wagger plays, he's really nice. Select <laughs> plays, he's really nice. Sing plays, and some guy comes mid lane on his team and steals five ex experience worth of creeps. <laughs> Five creeps worth of experience or something and then apparently messes up his lane and Sing just fucking emos out on the whole game. And I'm like, oh my god. Can't do anything with that little kid. He's, he's a, a rebel. Yeah. Just rebel without a cost. He just needs the rev. Some people just want to see the world burn. Yeah. Newman, what are you doing after the show? You going home? Having a nice sleep? Yeah, I'm sleeping. I have to get up in like seven hours. Is your girlfriend there? Yeah. Yeah. You live together? Yeah. That's good. How long for? Oh, three months. Oh, three, three months. months. Oh, yeah. oh, the honeymoon period. <laughs> nice. Yeah. How long have you been dating? This is a tricky question. 
Oh, those, casual uh, sex uh, into like on off things. Eight months. Ah, uh, yeah. When you get to one point five years, that's when you'll make a decision. Do you want to go longer? So, <laughs> it's good. I would have made a decision. You or you have? Have you? Yeah. It's a no, right? Where's the <laughs> ring? Uh, <laughs> I can't say anything. She's watching. She's watching. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. I'm fucked now. <laughs> all right. Well, before Newman <laughs> just gonna digs message. himself a deeper grave, we're gonna call it a night. Thanks all for tuning in. Thanks all for watching. Thanks Trance for doing your amazing production. Thank you Bruno and Newman for your amazing insight, and thank you James for providing your colorful stories and uh, amazing insight as well. Well, thanks. You know, it's happy to be here. I am just so disappointed that the realization that Newman's getting more sex than any of us combined. True story.